So we want to test the concept that CO2 causes global warming. What we know is that CO2 emissions soared after 1945, post-World War II, at a, a very sharply increased rate. And any climate changes that occurred before 1945 can't be blamed on CO2, because it hadn't risen yet. And the test is that if global warming is caused by CO2, then temperature should correlate with CO2. So look what happened. Here we start to soar in 1945. Uh, this is the, these are, are global emissions. And superimposed on that is what the climate was doing. So for the first 30 years after the big sharp increase, we had 30 years of global cooling. So from this you could conclude that CO2 causes global cooling. And then there has been some warming since then. So climate change is real, nobody denies that. And let's look then at what CO2 has in, in common um, with temperature. Here's where, this is about 1945, this is where the emissions began to rise sharply. And we have 30 years of global cooling. And before that, from 1915 to 1945, we had global warming without any increase in CO2. So who needs CO2? And it gets even, even um, more than that. In this graph, I plotted temperatures from uh, isotopic evidence in ice cores. The red peaks are periods of global warming. And there are 20 on this graph, dating back to about 1500. If you go back even farther, if you go back 10,000 years, this is 10,000 years ago, this is the present, temperatures were about two and a half to five degrees warmer than present in Greenland. No CO2. And then about 1,500 years ago, we dropped into uh, what has become uh, the Little Ice Age. Going back even farther, 25, 30 years, 1,000 years, we have the last ice age with huge warming of 20 degrees in less than a century and dropping of temperature of 20 degrees in uh, perhaps around a century and rising of temperature about 20 degrees in a century, all without the benefit of CO2. Second line of evidence is that CO2 cannot cause significant global warming by itself, simply because the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere is minuscule. The atmosphere now consists of about 41 thousandths of 1% of CO2. So if you take 100 molecules of air out of this room, you'll have only four molecules of carbon. It's about as close to nothing as you can get. If you double nothing, you've still got nothing. Not only that, but CO2 is a greenhouse gas, but it accounts to only about 3.6% of the greenhouse effect. 95% uh, is water vapor. And the really telling argument is that since 1945, 1950, which is the period supposedly to be the one of global warming, the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere has increased by only eight one thousandths of one percent. If you take the level in 1950 and the le absolute level, the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere, now it's increased by eight one thousandths of one percent. And that isn't gonna do very much. Third line of evidence is that CO2 always lags global warming. So it cannot be the cause of global warming. We know that from ice cores. Uh, these are from um, the Antarctic ice sheet. The blue line here is temperature, and the yellow line is carbon dioxide. And notice that carbon dioxide always follows the rise in temperature. It always lags temperature. So CO2 cannot be causing the warming. And that's true of each ice age in the past. I've just shown one here. It's even true on a shorter term. Uh, here is temperature, the blue curve, and the green is carbon dioxide. So if you take the peak of temperature and the peak of carbon dioxide, 
carbon dioxide, even the short term, always lags temperature. And Willie really Soon has shown that there's no correlation at all between CO2 and temperature. This line right here is carbon dioxide. Here is warm temperature, here's cool temperature, um, and there's no, no correlation. So we can conclude from that that there have been many, many, many periods of global warming which could not have been caused by CO2. And if you add all these up, you can only get about one-tenth of one percent of global warming periods that correlate with CO2. Not very convincing. 99.9 percent .9 of geologic warming in the past uh, has been, uh, cannot have been caused by CO2. Or, um, so there's so little CO2 in the atmosphere that the conclusion is inescapable that carbon dioxide has no significant effect on global temperature. 